This is the second part of the water base video, how to make water bases for, for example, Idoneth Deepkin or other models. Hello, this is 60 Goblins and One Brush, and today is the second part of the water base video. I said in the first video, this is a video for Idoneth Deepkin, but of course you can use this for anything else. There will be a separate video for the trolls but otherwise any kind of water bases you want to make you can do it like this last time we made the sand part and today we will start with the water yeah. you need some kind of water texture i do not recommend the uv resin because it's toxic also the water texture still from vallejo you cannot use because it's too liquid it's very good for other things, but not for this. You need something very lumpy, very um, very muddy consistencies, like Mod Podge, for example. There's also a water-based video of mine, a very early one, which I probably have to redo because it's one of was one of my first videos. It was not so well made. Then Water Gel Transparent by AK Diorama. That's very good. That's my favorite. And then there is Water Texture Acrylic by Vallejo, very good. And the Green Stuff World Splash Gel. I list them in the description. They're also in the description of the first video already, but I list them again. Then you can glue on any kind of seashell that you find, or any kind of rocks. And the next thing you can use any kind of twig or plant part. If you paint it red, it will look like a coral. If you paint it green, it would look like some kind of seaweed. I'll paint it red now for a coral effect. I painted it with Mephiston red. So while this is drying, we can go for the next step. Next step is to dry brush the wavy parts of the sand with a lighter color like for example Wraithbone. So that's it with a Wraithbone dry brush and if you like you can add another layer of white but that's not necessary. As you can see if you use white it's a little bit more accentuated. It looks a little bit nicer. Okay, now the coral, now the coral is dry already. You can leave it like that or you can dry brush it a little bit with a lighter red, like Wild Rider Red or so, or Evil Sun Scarlet, or even some orange. You can also, of course, use these little things on the Namati thralls, but then you don't have it for the thralls. So it's quite nice to make them yourselves. Just use small seashells and make the corals and seaweed yourself with twigs. So for the water texture gel, which is a kind of white putty like mass, right? Uh, you need something to scoop it out. You can use an old brush or one of the sculpting tools here, but it's actually the the bigger the chunks are that you shovel out of uh, the pot onto the base, the better, because then there are less bubbles in the end. So you need something bigger uh, than a sculpting tool. For example, a sword or a warhammer. This is a joke, of course. But what really works nicely is a butter knife. Yeah. You can just put it on like butter because you have to pile it as high as you possibly can. We'll do a second step. This is will this is a, also not the last step. First step was only the sand here, which is now hard as concrete. Second step is the 
little embellishments like seashells and corals and seaweed and stuff. Third step is clear water. And the uh, yeah, third step will be colored water. And fourth step, so there will be four videos about this, will be the waves on top. The waves. Okay, now, where's the seaweed gone? So I painted another little twig here with Caliban green. And that's the seaweed. To make the seaweed shinier, you can use art code or, for example, waste stone green. So I glued it on with super glue. And now it's time to scoop on the water. Model, butter knife, water texture gel. And then you see, you can take a big scoop of this. It will be white in the beginning, but it will become transparent, only it takes a while. It will take a few days to become fully transparent, up to one week. But we only need to wait about a day to further work with it. The surface will already be dry and then you can go for the next step. Just don't put on too much so that it won't flow off the side but you can scoop on a lot of it and don't worry it will become transparent in time but the thicker the water is the better it will look later and the thicker the texture of the thing the easier it is to scoop it on it will try to even itself out a little bit but it works quite well. It doesn't have to be even in any way because there will be a second and third coat coming. Yeah, okay, maybe I did it a little bit. I just wanted to try it out how high I can stack it quite quite possible the rim we will paint black anyway as a last step so it doesn't matter if there's some of the water texture on the rim but I'll take as much off as possible okay that's it for today we let it dry for at least one day and then we can continue. In the end it will look more or less like this. So, thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching and see you very soon. Hit the bell button.